Well, hey everybody, how you guys doing today? Um, trying to film here with my tablet. So, today is the ROM review of Insert Coin with Sense 6 on top of the HTC Desire 601. So, um, this is going to be quite a long video because I have a lot to cover here. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, if you got time, then here we go. If not, watch this video later when you have enough time to basically check out everything that I'm going to talk about. So, uh, let's start off with uh, showing the, uh, the setup here. So we'll go to About Device and Software Information. I don't know if you guys can quite make that out. But we're on HTC Sense version 6.0 on 4.4.2 um, KitKat. Sorry, the quality is bad. Uh, that's this tab. You know, I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone, so to get a video with my tablet. But anyways, moving on. So it is a uh, KitKat, and it is um, Sense 6. One of the cool things that I do like about it, we'll start off with, is Blink Feed. So we have blink feed right here, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but these uh, your bottom application icons they remain there throughout the whole time. I do believe on the older version on Sense 5.5, uh, these do not appear on your blink feed. Um, only in the in the launcher section of it, but not in the blink feed. But with Sense 6, it appears right here. So still have access to all your um, I guess I would consider these your most used applications now you do get this widget up here which during the daytime it's white and in the evening time and nighttime it's black so basically it corresponds with the time of day so it really makes it easier for you to know like I mean who wouldn't know if it's day or night if you're outside but say you're inside a building nearly almost all day you'll know when it's day or night so um anyways it's basically it's sense it's not too much different from 5.5 just um certain things have changed like here you can have i believe up to 15 um quick setting tiles so um you'll be able to control more from your quick settings which is great it's great to have those things uh, accessible. Uh, let's see. Well, with it being on Virgin Mobile, I actually um, decided to reactivate my Virgin Mobile account. So this phone is actually functional. And I can tell you off the bat that uh, multimedia messaging works. Text messaging works just fine. Phone calls work just fine. Um, call quality was really, really good. Um, so you shouldn't really have a problem if you're on Virgin Mobile and you flash to this uh, this ROM. Shouldn't have much of a problem with it. Everything works uh, just tremendously good. And I really have no complaints whatsoever. So uh, let's go into settings here. One of the biggest things that this ROM has is customization. <clears throat> Sorry. Customization. As you guys can see, there's insert control, insert coin market, and apps ops. So uh, let's start off with um, insert coin control. You have the ability. Uh, these are the the names of the developers who are responsible for this, and who have ported it over to the Desire 601. And over here, you can set the um, per app color. And you can individually set them. So let me go ahead and turn this on. And let me turn that on at the top. Let me turn that one off. But so now that I turned it on, we'll go back real quick. If I go to blink feed, should change or not? <laughs> uh, what it's supposed to do is just actually change like the color for the. Um, Oh, it's off again. Okay. 
Now let's see if he'll do it. There it goes. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, it changed the blink feed to purple. Also, um, other applications, as it does state, um, will be affected. Like settings is now got this purple layout on top. And uh, the signal and the Wi-Fi and everything is purple. So, I mean, you could really customize the way that this looks. Um, so, here we have... Okay, yeah, that died. I know why that died. Anyways, it's like the weirdest thing with this uh, this ROM. Um, if you have the updated insert coin control installed, it will then, um, for some reason, keep closing. So I gotta uninstall that here, but it keeps updating to it. So that's one annoying thing about it. Uh, insert coin market, as is as it states, um, you can get news from the developers, system mods, boot animations, wallpapers, theme packs, and the icon packs. So. And then right here, it has like a whole bunch of different things. Like you can get the insert coin boot animation. But um, the tough thing about this is because since this ROM is ported over to the Desire 601, a lot of these boot animations are, are actually made for the HTC One M7. And therefore, they don't necessarily fit to our screen. Um, I'll show you when I reboot the device so you guys can see the startup and everything. But yeah, and then you have uh, different stuff here like um, circle battery icons. Um, you have the AOSP icons, so I mean, you know, it's uh, there's like so much customizations that can be done with this ROM whatsoever, and it's pretty stable too. That's uh, one of the main things that a lot of people really want to know is how stable is it? It's uh, pretty stable. Um, a lot of applications don't really give me any problems at all. Uh, the other ones that do is like these right here, the, the insert coin section right here. These tend to give me problems when you get the updated versions, but if you have what was already uh, pre-installed with the ROM, they work just fine. So I don't know, you know, I have to go in there and, up, and uh, uninstall the update. Um, here is the app, app, the app ops or options or whatever, and uh, it just it's like the list of the applications you have where they're you know their location um, here's like personal you can see like the phone Instagram snapchat you know they're considered personal apps uh, blink feed then you have like messaging it shows like messages hangouts and all that stuff uh, what I took from just basically this right here is like you could adjust um, the what do I want to call them? Uh, I guess permissions. You can adjust the permissions from here, so that's always great because if you want certain apps to not have certain permissions to do things, you could uh, pretty much you know deny our permissions for certain things, and then therefore uh, you won't have to have the worries about what the app is uh, accessing. So. Um, is, is it has boom sound and that's what this icon on the top next to the NFC is I don't know if you guys can see that um, but it's it looks like the beats audio um, icon and really it's just telling you that boom sound is basically working and uh, let me go to YouTube real quick I'll find uh, one of my other videos to play so you guys can see uh, hear how loud it is but I didn't really have uh, too much of an issue with the KitKat and sense 5.5 after um, after I did the fix so I didn't notice too much of a difference in sound but um, I'll play some sound and see if it'll do some justice for you guys uh, let me play one of my videos here mm, let's see Um, I'll play the video of my, uh, on my daughter's birthday. Hey, what's up, everybody? How you guys doing today? Um, so this is not going to be a tech vlog, but I did want to introduce all of you to my oldest daughter. Today she turns four. Her name is Destiny. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, uh, 
not very loud. You know, it's not like super bumping or anything like that. But I mean, you know, when you're watching videos and stuff, it's pretty decent. Um, YouTube, it's all right. Um, music, I would play some, but we do have that uh, that issue, so I really can't. Um, let's see. So I mean, that's pretty much like the sound. Uh, everything seems to be working just fine with this ROM. There's not, like I said, there's not, there's not much, uh, not much hiccups with it. Uh, the, um, the Google camera and stuff works with it. So, so you guys can see I have uh, the Google camera installed. It works just fine. Uh, I use, I use this as my main camera, but the HTC camera does also work too. So we'll get that launched. And, uh, yeah, it's got all these uh, different features right here. Camera, video, Zoe camera, Pan 360. You guys get that with the camera. So it's actually uh, really nice. Um, you can adjust the settings. You can uh, crop wide, you know, at a 16 by 9 ratio or 4, 4 by 3. So, I mean, there's like so much settings with this camera. It's really, really nice. And then uh, it says right there, selfie. You have selfie camera, Pan 360 video, and Zoe. So, um, yeah, the camera works wonderful. But I like using the Google camera. So, anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much a look around. Insert Coin uh, Sense Six, which was ported from the One M7 to the Desire 601. If there's anything else you guys want to know, go ahead and leave it in the comment section of this video. Uh, sorry the quality is not all that great. I'm shooting from my tablet and uh, just wanted to see how well it would work out. But um, if the quality is fine, then that's great. But I'm not too sure. But anyways, yeah. Um, so MMS does work both ways. You can send out picture messages and receive them. Call quality was good, as I said before. Uh, everything seems to be working fine except for um, the insert coin features. Uh, if you update the insert coin market or insert coin control to um, customize your device uh, the updated versions will crash so you, you just want to stick with the ones that it comes with those work fine and within those also gives you the ability to theme icons like as you see the Instagram icon is um, from Flattastico which is an icon pack I downloaded so uh, you can actually change those too like I said insert coins are very customizable uh, it's very nice so uh, yeah, um, like I said, anything else you guys want to know, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section of this video. And uh, if this video was informative, go ahead and hit that like button because it helps me out. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this and others to come in the future. And uh, you also can check out the catalog of my videos that I've already done. And I will see you guys next time.